All right, we're going to take a look at this Atari little plug-and-play game. It's pretty neat. It's in a, um, it's in the form factor of an original Atari 2600 type joystick. It's got all the buttons and stuff here. Reset, select, and start, and then of course the one button that you use for the game. And then of course there's a power switch here. It goes into the TV through the AV port. Just like the, um, you know, the yellow and, I think it's yellow and white. And there we go, it's starting up now. And it comes with these 10 games right here. Uh, Adventure, I'll go ahead and play a few, few seconds of Adventure here. This is one of the games I played when I was a kid. And this level is really easy. Get the sword. Come down here, you slay your dragon, and you can do it one of two ways. I'll kill the other dragon too. Whoops, he's over here. There, that's the only two dragons on level one. This level is pretty simple. Get the black key. And it's amazing because I haven't played this since quite a while. And I still remember this maze. <laughs> this is going up to the Black Castle. Whoops, there's a bridge you can use. That magnet comes into play in some of the other levels, but I don't need it here. This, this one's pretty simple. I have the Golden Chalice. I think that's what they call it. And we go back down through the maze. And return the golden chalice to our castle. There we go. It's a winner. All right. Now we'll reset. We'll play. Let's see what we're going to play next. Uh, Asteroids is a good one. But this is a really good way to get a taste of Atari 2600 games without, without going nuts. You know, getting a, having to get like an actual system. This is one of the first commercially successful console video games in the arcades. Go ahead and exit that. We'll try a different game. Just for old time's sake. Let's see. Breakout's not so good. Missile Command. That's a crazy game. I remember this one. This is like, uh, gotta remember when these when this game came out, the Cold War and the threat of nuclear war was like a very real thing. So this is like a nuclear defense system here, protecting your cities. You have six cities down below. And you have incoming ICBMs, that's the whole idea. You hit the button and then it, I don't know how many it can uh, fire at once. Then it has like this, uh, as you can see this diameter of kill, this kill range. Pretty neat game. I spent a pretty good bit. This wasn't one of my favorites. I liked, I really liked Adventure. So I'm glad they have it. Um, I'll tell you one that I wish they would have put on here was, uh, was it Defender? Defender was a really good 2600 game too and of course the tank battle race all those two-player games were really fun this seems pretty easy games back then were easy you could play one game for a long time without dying back then let's see what else do we have here yars revenge i don't even know how to play that and volleyball i don't even remember ever playing volleyball wow this looks kind of difficult okay let's serve Okay. Okay, all right. Interesting. Beach volleyball. Oh, out. They scored. Okay. 
All right. Let's see what else we got. Uh, breakout. Ooh, this is a lot easier with a paddle. I'll, I'll go ahead and... Let me back it up. Uh, it's hard with a joystick, I'm telling you. I'm making excuses for poor play, but... We actually used the paddle back in the day for these kind of games. A lot easier to control. Lots of games on the 2600 with just a little square looking ball and like a platform to bounce against it. <laughs> Lots of games like that. But anyway, those are the games that come on it. It works fine. It's, it's pretty fun. It's like actually a lot of fun. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye.